welcome back to the show. You are going to love both of our next guests. I haven't seen her in quite some time, but the good news is the Big Cat Show is back and it's in person and it's at the Nepean Sportsplex. Here to tell us more about it, I'm joined by Kim Monkhouse, president of the Ottawa Valley Cat Club. Kim, how are you? Good and yourself, Derek. I'm doing great. I know, so, who's awesome. this vocal fellow oh, you've got here Ramsey's. with you? This is Ramsey's. He's a, yeah, an adult Bengal. Really, really nice boy. Uh, belongs to one of our club yeah. members, so nice. he's here to uh, yeah, grace uh, your stage. And he's a, he's a show beauty. Off. And yeah. he loves to chat. He's he been does. chatting with us for, for the entire time he's been on. Yes. Um, but that's what happens, right? When animals sometimes are in a different environment, and yeah. like, like anybody, he's, uh, he's just probably a little nervous, right? Of course. Uh, you must be excited, Kim. Let's talk about, you know, the big show is back. Tell yeah. us about how excited you and your team must be. Oh, super excited. Yeah. Nothing yeah. like all this work to just, you know, get us excited. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's fun to, to bring this to Ottawa again and for people to be be able to see uh, different kinds of purebred cats. We have vendors there uh, selling all kinds of stuff for uh, cat-related toys, litter boxes, um, food, stuff like that. You name it, it's all there. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, talks going on in our okay. presentation ring. Excellent. Um, so it is uh, this weekend, so September 24th. 24th and 25th. 24th yeah. and 25th. I'm here for you. That's right. Uh, we're a team, I knew it was Kim. Saturday when, and Sunday, when, but yeah, you know. Well, when a guest comes on the show, we become a team, <laughs> right? We're in this together. That's right. Uh, tell me about the history, though. How did this, uh, how did you get involved in the beginning? Um, oh, gosh. So a, a long, long time ago, I think it was 2000 or 2001, um, I actually got a Bengal cat, so the okay. same breed as this, and when I went to go pick up the cat, the breeder said, by the way, that's show quality. And I'm like, oh, what the heck is show quality? <laughs> so I looked into uh, cat shows, and okay. at the time, they had were only around the Toronto area. So I started up a cat club so that we could have a, a show in Ottawa once a year. Nice. Yeah, Very so cool. it's so been... is there a competition then, like a cat competition? Like you'd have a dog is. show? So all the uh, breeders and owners come out, we, and uh, there's different categories. There's kittens, uh, there's purebred cats that are not fixed, purebred cats that are fixed. Okay. As well as household pets. Right. Um, uh, being members of the Canadian Cat Association, the only rules is uh, they are not allowed to be declawed. I see. Uh, okay. But, um, Which makes sense, right? I yeah. mean, it's a it's a pretty cruel practice, the it old, is. The old it declawing, is. right? And then so all these cats go into their special categories and they go up into the judges' rings throughout see both days. I see what you did there and, with the uh, categories. I yeah, see what you did. Right. Very clever. Yeah. Very clever. Categories. I like that. <laughs> um, so you did say there's some presentations. Uh, tell me about some of the pre presentations, what are the topics? Uh, well, back by popular demand, we do have inappropriate urination. Uh, okay. I believe that All is right. on Sunday. Excuse me, Ramsey. As the president of the Canadian Continents Foundation, I can relate. <laughs> yes. Sunday at 10.30 is that talk. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, the joys of fostering, uh, the right match, senior cats, um, therapy cats, okay. a parade of breeds where you can see a, a showcase of different cat breeds. Uh, oh my, bringing your cat to the vet, um, how to keep your cat fit. Those were all the Saturday presentations. Okay. Um, Sunday we have therapy cats, senior cats, um, exercise 101, how to keep your cat in good exercise oh, shape. Cool. I know. That's a good one. I like that. And another parade of breeds and feline roommates. So uh, lots of stuff for you to learn about cats. Uh, all the times and everything are on is on our website, so you can come and check those out. Let, let's talk about misconceptions of cats. I told you I'm a cat person. I grew yeah. up with cats, but yeah. there are misconceptions out there when it comes to cats. What are some of those myths that you you, you hear about and that you'd like to you know? sort of um, touch on. I don't on. know, like people talk about how cats are aloof and they aren't friendly with their owners, but I mean they are. You end up getting uh, uh, like definitely some kind of cat relationship with your cat and, and it is fulfilling and they do come and sit on your lap and you know they do show you affection regardless of what the internet says. Right. <laughs> what kind of advice, like if somebody's looking over, we actually have the Ottawa Humane Society, Stephen's coming up after, yep. we'll talk yeah. uh, about that as well, but for your own advice being someone that's had cats you know for a long time. Yep. Um, what are some of the questions you should ask yourself if you're, if you're thinking about getting a cat? Um, 
I, well, just am I ready for a pet in general? Right. I mean, yeah. cats tend to be, uh, it's again, different than a dog. I mean, you don't have to take them out and walk them unless you would like to. I mean, Ramsey's clearly goes out on walks. Uh, but uh, you just have to have somewhere to put the, the litter box, make sure you constantly keep it clean. Right. Um, and really, cats are, are pretty easy to take care of. And yeah, they come in all different kinds of personalities. So really, So you said, too, Kim, you had this particular breed yourself. I did. What, what, what can you tell me about this breed, this beautiful breed? Uh, this is breed. definitely a very active breed. Okay. Uh, talkative. Yeah, very talkative <laughs> breed. Uh, they will run all over your house. They love to pay, play. Mine okay. like to play fetch with a, a little ball of balled up paper or something, okay. and she'd bring it back to me. And uh, and yeah, they're definitely a higher energy breed, uh, but they also really like families as well. Nice. Yeah, nice. as opposed to um, some breeds like the Persians, like the big fluffy ones. Right. Some of them just like to sit there and look pretty. Uh, but I've seen them as kittens and they do play around as kittens. Uh, I know that you're accepting some donations as well, right? Yeah, we're accepting food donations. Okay. We also have the uh, Cat Rescue Network as well as the Ottawa Stray Cat Rescue Network okay. or Rescues uh, coming out to our, our show and they should be bringing some cats as well uh, that will be up for adoption. Because um, again, same with the Humane Society, we like to make sure that uh, you know cats are taken care of whether they're purebred right. or not. Yeah, yeah. What about, you know what, uh, here's here's something I, I've always liked to talk about is misconceptions about cat people, oh, right? Yeah. You and I are cat people, <laughs> we're normal people. That's right. All right, cat people are normal people just like the rest, just like the rest of you. And uh, as I said, Stephen's coming up uh, from the Ottawa Humane <laughs> Society in just a moment. So uh, let's go over the details. Should people buy tickets beforehand? Can you just show up? No, you can just show up at the door. Uh, it's $5 uh, for kids and seniors, $10 for adults. Uh, we also have a family discount, uh, $20. Five dollars for two adults and two kids, or nice. something. Can you bring your own cat? You cannot bring okay. your own cat. Okay. Um, and we've also already the show has closed, so we're not accepting any more entries at this time. Sorry. So you'll have to wait till next year to enter. But uh, oh, where was I? That's okay. You okay. know what? I'm going to wrap up with this. <laughs> Nepean Sportsplex coming up this weekend, September 24th and 25th. As she said, just show up at the door. We'll be back with Stephen from the Ottawa Humane Society.